look, I'm gonna be so honest, I'm so excited for this video today for a multitude of reasons. One, it stopped being sunny, it started raining, autumn has officially begun, yes! Two, run my boyfriend's hoodie. And three, it's a book haul! Another one. I'm so excited. So excited. Like, you have no idea how excited I actually am. Like, oh, I'm just going to be cosy and autumnal and oh, I can't wait. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlie and I talk about books, studying, chronic illness and life in general. Very exciting topics. Today, we're on my favourite topic, books. So, my boyfriend and I went to Soho yesterday. That's in London, for those of you who don't know. And found a lot of bookshops. And did some shopping. And um, we also happened to go to the British Museum and did some more shopping. And I think there's one of other thing in here. Sneak that back. So, I'm not putting it into categories because it's all in the same category. Literature. No. Um, it is primarily things for my degree. Arts and Humanities degree, specialising in creative writing and classical studies. Um, and so it's books for that or for... Learning languages, which is something that I'm doing in my spare time um, to sort of help. Um, and then from the British Museum, as I said to my father, don't ask me why I need them, I just do. So without further ado, let's start. <coughs> just got a really bad itch in my throat. Ow. Oh, and I've hurt my wrist. I need to put a support on it which is sad but we roll with so I think I'm going to start with the British Museum bag because it's very exciting um I will put some little clips here um for you to see British Museum we went around the Greek and ancient Roman exhibits oh beautiful so I'll put those here And now that you've watched those, let's get into the little haul. Now, not all of these are from the British Museum. Most of them were. But one of them I got second hand. But okay, how cute are these? Look. How cute. We have Winston Churchill, a collection of wit and wisdom. Just pop them in a little pile here. We have Love Sonnets of Shakespeare. Anyone who knows me knows that I love Shakespeare. He is one of my favourite um, authors. In the era that he was writing, I don't actually believe that there were very many good authors at the time, but Shakespeare, beautiful. We have Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes. I love the TV shows. I love the books. I love learning to think like him. Beautiful, amazing, wonderful. Oh, it looks so cool! We have one of my favourite authors, Jane Austen. Now, I'll be talking about Jane Austen on my TikTok today, probably. 
that's the plan anyway and then this book here i read this when i was 14 and i realized there was a little mini version of it about a year ago and i've been looking for it everywhere and i haven't known where to buy it but look it's a tiny tiddly version of war and peace I do collect copies of War and Peace and uh, Les Mis. I unfortunately did not find a Les Mis version of this. This one I found in a charity shop, while well, the rest of these were from the British Museum. Um, but I am on the lookout for more Les Mis books, because um, I've got these really beautiful War and Peace uh, vintage volumes, and volume one and volume oh, beautiful, beautiful. So yes, that's what I got from the British Museum look how cool they look right anyways and one of them has a little bookmark all of them have bookmarks that'd be cool no any shakas beer it's a pity but yes they are going back in the little bag yes right next I think next we should probably do books I bought. We went to foils, but not like the foils that you have in like train stations. We went to the four story foils. I could live there. I am saving up my money and I'm going back there and spending it all. They had an entire section dedicated to ancient Greek. They had an entire section dedicated to Latin, to French, to classics, to poetry, everything. There were so many books and I just, I want them and I need them. So I'm saving up my money and I'm going shopping. Slash. Making someone take me there for my birthday? Ideas. But I only bought two books because the two books together were £20. Um, so this cost me £10. It's called How to Be a Poet um, by J.M. Farkas. I collect poetry and this looked like, like, look at the inside of this. This looked like such a cool poetry book. Um, and I love discovering new poets. I was going to get some classical poetry, but didn't see any that sort of caught my eye. I didn't really have that much time to look at the poetry section because I spent so much time in the classic section. Um, but this, I think, is beautiful. And I actually, I can't wait to read it. And I will talk about it on my Instagram, probably put you there and then my second book from foils there was a collection of these and i had to choose one of them one i will after i've done this i will include photos of the other ones that i found um but the one that i got was how to be content um an ancient poet's guide on for an age of excess um by horace now these books are beautiful. One, they're small. This is my hand, although my hand isn't that much of a measurement because I've got small hands. But they're small books, so they're travel size for your convenience, to quote Mulan. Um, but also, one of the things that I love about them is that the historian who... I have to find out who... I'm trying to see who... So the people who wrote this, basically they've put in the original Latin, I see here, and then the translations and then the sort of reading of the translations, which I love and I am planning on going back and getting the rest of these because there's how to be content, there's how to be a great leader, how to be a great friend, and it's all based in ancient Greek and Latin writers and the books have ancient Greek and Latin in them and oh beautiful 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 um so i will be getting the rest of this collection because i think that will be really helpful for not only my degree but also just in general and learning the languages i have a gcse in latin i have not done latin for the last two years and i'm trying to get back into it so this will be really helpful for that i thought about what i said about putting up pictures of these ones i'm not going to i'm just going to leave them for another haul um but that was beautiful and the collection is just, I can't wait. 
I can't wait to buy them. You know when you like buy books and you should be content with the books that you bought but you saw these books that were just so beautiful and you just sit there and you dream about them until you get them? That is what I, that, that is what I am. No. That is the position that I am in right now. But moving on to second hand books, we went to, now I can't remember what the bookshop's called, but I will look it up and I will put it here. I will write it. Um, beautiful selection of books, floor to ceiling. There were so many books that I could have got here, but they were so big. I found these like huge copies of uh, Roman studies. Um, so essays and written by historians on Roman studies and stuff. And there was one that I really wanted to get because it talked about sort of Romans and Christians. Um, but they were like huge, They're like A4, if not bigger. So I couldn't get them and there were so many copies of them because um, it came in, you know, it was number eight, number nine, number 10. Um, so if I go back, I'm definitely gonna look for those because uh, they were really good. But I did get one book um, and that is The Greek View of Life by G. Lowe's Dickinson. See, this talks about um, how the Greeks viewed a variety of things. Um, there we go, found the name. Any amount of books, um, Charing Cross Road, beautiful shop. I will be going back there as soon as possible. I want to take my mum there. Um, but The Greek View of Life, um, this was... published in 1941 this book um and it's it smells like old books but that was not what i was going to say um so it goes through the different ancient greek views on stuff so the greek view on religion the greek view of the state which i think will be really interesting to read um the greek view of the individual the greek view of art and it just it looks really cool it's got all these brown pages i'll go through that with a pencil and oh i can't wait to read this i am, might put it on my reading list for october um then i think all the other books i got was from oxfam bookshops we did go into a couple of other bookshops but one of them was very expensive and so we didn't buy anything because we're students um and i can't work at the moment so i don't have loads of money to spend on these beautiful beautiful vintage books they were gorgeous um but that's okay so next we went to yeah oxfam these are all from oxfam and the first thing i got that's not classics related or degree related is the little penguin black classics of christina rossetti the goblin market i've been reading christina rossetti for you know a long time my mum introduced me to her poetry when i was very very young um and i wanted just you know me i collect poetry so i wanted to add this and i have recently discovered the penguin little black classics and i want to start collecting the ones that i would definitely read so i also got through the post recently uh sophocles antigone yep which is actually on my reading list for this year of my degree um, so these will look very nice on a little shelf together. It's another shelf I need to ask my dad to make. Right, next up, The Greek Myths 1. This was like two pounds. Two pounds. And it literally, it covers, well, it's number one, so it's not going to cover everything. Um, but this one covers, let me see if it says it, the Pel Pelagian creation myth, the Homeric and Orphic creation myths, the Olympian creation myth, two philosophical creation myths, the five ages of man, the castration of Uranus, the dethronement of Cronus, the birth of Athena, Zeus and Metis, the fates, the birth of Aphrodite, Hera and her children, Zeus and Hera, births of Hermes, Apollo, Artemis and Dionysus, the birth of Eros, Poseidon's nature and deeds, Hermes' nature and deeds, Aphrodite's nature and deeds, Ares' nature and deeds, Hestia's nature and deeds, Apollo's nature and deeds, Artemis's nature and deeds, Hephaestus's nature and deeds, Demeter's nature and deeds, Athena's nature and deeds, um, Pan's nature and deeds, Dionysus' nature and deeds, Orpheus, Ganymedes, Zagreus, 
I might be saying these all wrong. The gods of the underworld, my favourite subject, uh, Tyke, Teich, and Nemesis, the children of the sea, the children of Echidna, Echidne, Echidne, the giants revolt, gosh there's so many, Typhon, the Alioids, Declan's Flood, Atlas and Prometheus, Aeos, Orion, Helios, the son of Helen, Ion, Alcyone and Ciex, Tyrius, Ar there's a lot. I'm not actually going to read out the rest of these because it actually, all of the things, contents, page one. The rest of the contents. So I will be looking out um, for the Greek myths too. I'm actually going to have a look on eBay today to see if I can find it so that I can have the full, you know, collection. Um... But yes, very excited about this. Um, very excited to read that. Um, I also got The Sixteen Satires by Juvenal. Really pretty book. Um, which is very exciting because obviously satire was a huge thing in the Greek world. So it'll be very interesting to read this and sort of look at it in comparison to other plays because um, my degree is very literature heavy, um, especially considering what I'm studying. The only way it could be more literature heavy was if I was studying English literature, which I am not because classics and creative writing. Um, but it is very literature heavy, so it's very. it'll be very interesting to do like comparisons between, you know, the Greek satire and modern satire. Oh, so excited. So that can go up there. Speaking of plays, we're going to take a moment for how beautiful this book is. Look at this. And I want to make a quick disclaimer because I know a lot of people buy vintage books to collect them. I buy vintage books to read them. Um, unusual, I know. And if they're super, super old and like falling apart, I won't read them. Um, but... As you can see, this shelf right here, lots of vintage books. Some of them are mine, some of them are my mum's that I have stolen um, because they need a place to be, obviously. And I love to read vintage books. The smell. So this is the ancient classical drama. And it's basically a bunch of literary essays um, going around lots of different plays um, and lots of different eras of plays in the classical eras and going through them and um what's the word analyzing them and analyzing how they worked in that time um this was published in oxford in 1898 so exciting i love oxford very beautiful place never been but very beautiful um So they talk about the origin of tragedy, they talk about choral tragedy, um, they talk about ancient tragedy, so they talk about Sophocles and Euripides, um, they talk about the Roman revival of tragedy, then they, that next up they start talking about comedy, they talk about choral comedy, um, they talk about ancient comedy, Roman comedy. Romans didn't really do comedy that well though, let's be honest. They were not concentrating on the arts. They were a military people. They were not an arts people. Um, the ancient classic and the modern romantic drama. Then the structure of particular plays. There's tables. At the end of this book, let me find it. I figured this one out yesterday when I was talking to my father about it maybe. They've got tables, they suggest other books in the back. It's beautiful. Will need to be handled with care, but it's beautiful and will be very useful for my degree. So I'm going to put that there because we're starting to, it's a bit too big to put on this pile. Next up, we have Latin prose composition. This was from 1900s, I think. This was one of the most expensive books that I got from 
yeah 1930s this is one of the most expensive books that i got from oxfam it was five pounds um but basically it goes through it it help it will help me study latin it goes through all of the grammar and not just that it's a beautiful book and look look at the typing they do not make books like they used to and it smells old that was just missing a little bit so um this is by Bradley's Arnold, edited by J.F. Mountford, I think. Yeah. Um, can't wait to get my teeth into this, I'll be honest. I um, have been studying French lately and haven't started studying any of the other languages that I want to sort of get a grip of. I'm going to take a drink because my throat is really dry. I talk way too much. <clears throat> but we are almost done which is unusual for my book hauls um now this i already have one of these but i like i have the modern one and this one's vintage and the pages look at the pages they're like bespeckled um and that is a compact latin english dictionary this is just so cool and will be a great addition to my vintage book collection and it'll be interesting actually to sort of look through it and compare it to my modern latin english dictionary i almost got okay i collect i've mentioned this before i collect the collins gem dictionaries and i almost got a latin one yesterday and i didn't and i almost did but it was from foils and so more expensive but i want one um, and I will be going back to foils and buying one to add to my collection. But anyways, I did get a dictionary. Because what is a book shopping trip with me if you don't buy at least one dictionary? Um, then we have, I love this. Not only because the paper is beautiful, not only because the print is beautiful, but it's The Tempest in French. Who doesn't want something like this? I um, have taken to buying French literature to help me learn French because I learn by reading and therefore French makes sense, right? I'll pretend that made sense. Um, so, itchy nose. Very excited to get into that. Should have done that one before these ones because it is slightly bigger right we're almost there this is not a huge book haul we've got two more books to go and the first one is this french phonetic reader this is just like really it's small it's dainty it's cute and it'll just it will help me i think I can't read any of that right now, but I will be doing research and I'll be writing little notes and putting sticky notes. It'll help me learn French. I'll pop you up there. And last but not least, I'm very excited about this book because it is an old book and it's from the Cambridge University Press. And it is, sorry, it is Propertius Elegies Book One. And basically it has the Latin and some annotations from the previous owner. And then they go through the Latin and they translate it and they do critical essays on it. And yeah, can't wait, can't, genuinely cannot wait to get into that and get back to Latin and classics after so long. Right. I think that's everything. Look how cool. Look, it's all old. But anyways, I think, yeah, that was all the books I bought yesterday in Soho. Um, expect many book hauls on this channel because I am incapable of not buying books. Um, I have some more books coming through, which, and some books from a recent shopping excursion that I could have added to this, but I was too lazy to go down to my office and get them. Um, so hasn't been. So expect, you know, 
maybe I'll do a classics haul. And by classics, I don't mean Greek and Roman classics. I don't mean classical history. I mean like classical literature. Because if you see behind me, uh, no, wrong side. This shelf here is all of my classics collection. Not all of it, some of it. I've got a lot more in my office, which you will see some pictures of if you follow me on Instagram, or you will definitely see videos of if you follow me on TikTok. As always, I will be linking my social medias in the description. Um, and thank you for watching. This was actually quite a short vlog in the grand scheme of vlogs about books for me. So thank you. If you made it to the end, let me know what your favourite book in the hall was. Let me know what you're studying. Um, please like and subscribe. And follow me on social media, which I will link below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week with a 